Hey guys, how's it going? So, I was looking for something to be a little more versatile than a little parts tray. And I was looking around and I came up with this. So, I don't know if you guys have ever done this or seen this before. But just an Altoids little tin I took. And I uh, super glued on the bottom just six little magnets that uh, my wife tore out of one of her old purses that kept all of her flaps shut so which is pretty cool so I wanted something that would hold onto all my little nuts and bolts and screws when I'm working on kids toys or anything kinda small you know you have all these little nuts and little screws so you guys can see inside of here when you throw them in there's some black screws in here when you throw them in, you just throw them in and then they stay inside. They won't dump out, which is nice. The other positive thing about this is you want to keep all your stuff together. Well, here's all my little tools, just a cheap little tool set. And it just hangs on to it by itself. See? Just because of the magnetic. So, you take that off. The other great aspect is because you have these six different magnets now you have the potential to organize all of these so usually you'll have one standard size that works on almost everything so then you always have that weird little short one <laughs> so now when you take it apart I can sort it off into basically six different little segments and keep them organized in the same parts tin so they usually hang out right over the magnets so you can have your two tops and two bottoms all separated and then the weird one down here or however you want to do it the other best part is it keeps it with your tools so you could do that you can make it for almost free if you have the magnets but if you use super glue as soon as you put a drop of super glue down and you drop a magnet it is going to stick immediately <laughs> and if you aren't happy because the magnets usually pull towards each other if you're gonna make one of these and, and that happens to you the the best way to get these up is not to use the pliers don't do that doesn't work out very well <laughs> these are already super glued down but if you take the knife blade and you put it underneath you can pry the magnet up and they pop up pretty easily with the knife blade just be sure not to cut yourself so the next thing I want to show you guys, well I guess if you wanted to make a small Altoids little small tin, you can make it. Um, it'd be just the same thing. You just get some little magnets and you would just pop them off, set them on the bottom of it. You could configure it however you want. But the only problem is, is if you don't glue these down, sometimes when they get close to each other, they'll, let's see if this one will do it. I ain't gonna do it. They'll push each other around or else they'll snap off. So just make sure you glue them down or tape them down. It's not really permanent permanent but it's semi permanent because you can always take them off with that knife method that I showed you. But if you guys are wondering if you could fit one of these inside of here you can and it's magnetic so it won't shake out or anything but it won't fit sideways like you would like. It's just uh, too big. So the only way it would fit is long ways. But you still have extra room in there. So if you did need to keep some things separated, you could do that. And you could do it for really cheap. So it gets you out of buying something that you probably don't need to buy. So off of this topic and on to the other little thing that I found that is one of the most useful things you can have with a bit driver set. Now, this is just a standard little bit set. You can buy them for like 10 bucks or something. I got this one for Christmas a while ago. So inside of here, I added two extra bits. So all these are little short bits, stubby bits. But most kids' toys nowadays, or anything you're usually working on, it has to have this little narrow shank. So you can buy these at some hardware stores. Usually they're in the driver bit section. Um, I know that they're... I don't know, 
There's a lot of different makers. But you want to get it so that the hex shape, you know, will go in your driver and lock in. Like so. So it won't come out. And you want to make sure that this is skinny enough to get down inside those holes and have plenty of room to work. So you can actually get that reach down in there. That's the number one thing that I hated about this driver set. So, for like 10 bucks, I got both these bits out there at Menards. I'm sure you could find them in other places. So, they're designed for an actual drill drill, but <laughs> these things work great. They store perfectly in this little kit. I just set them right in here, and that's it. So now, with this one little bit kit, I can almost do anything. Uh, I can almost fix anything. So, uh, I do need to add some more bits to it, and eventually I will. But it, st it shuts nice. It's a sturdy case. It's got a rubber back. It works out for right now. And paired with this, now I can work on almost anything, and I don't have to worry about all my screws falling off the kitchen table or getting lost in carpet. And that was one of the problems I had, and I was fed up with it. So I decided that I would uh, see if one of these would work, and it turns out that it works great. So it's got plenty of little options to do. So, And the kids really love to play with these things too, so <laughs> you got to watch that. But the lid doesn't seem to pop open as easy. I think the magnets help hold it shut just a little bit more. Uh, I'd have to experiment around with that a little bit, but I think the mag magnets uh, help keep it shut. So that's my little tip and trick for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. But uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think, and I'll answer your questions.